With temperatures in the triple digits, many are heading to the pool to cool down. As we continue our Water Watch campaign this morning, we're focusing now on this link between drowning and autism. Drowning is among the leading causes of death in people with autism, and Napa Valley City has given their staff some extra training to support autistic children and adults this summer. 12 News journalist Jen Wall joins us live from Chandler. And Jen, tell us what they're doing. Yeah, good morning to you. We are coming to you live from the Mesquite Groves Aquatic Center here in South Chandler. This is a really popular pool, so popular in fact that the city tells me on a hot afternoon it will easily hit capacity. Well, now the city's Parks and Rec Department says they've trained about 500 staff members, including lifeguards right here at the pool, all to help support children and adults with autism, keeping them safe around the water. Now, the city of Chandler's Parks and Recreation Department now entering the hottest months of the year as a certified autism center for the first time. The city taking 60 days to give their staff extra training to be better prepared to serve guests of all abilities. It's training the city says their staff was asking for. Now six centers, including pools and parks in Chandler, will have a sensory guide and it gives insight on how a person with sensory processing sensitivities might experience the facility. Valley teacher Lindsay Lindsay weighs in on how important changes like these are for Arizona communities. I think it's great that the community is so aware of what the public needs and that these accommodations are being available for children who are autistic or adults who are. It makes them feel like they have a comfortable or a safe spot to be where they know that they have the things that they can thrive on when they're at the swimming pool. Now, this is not the only spot in the city that will have special adaptations this summer. Chandler tells me there's going to be adaptive swim lessons at their Arrowhead pool. And then they're also going to have a sensory swim time at the Nozomi Aquatic Center, also in Chandler. Coming up live in about an hour at 6 a.m., we're going to show you how lifeguards have been trained extra here to help keep kids and adults with autism safe around the water. For now, we're live in Chandler. Jen Wall, 12 News Today. Easy. Well, we love that, Jen. Thanks so much. The city showing a way to get everyone involved and making it safe for them.